Two sets. That's all that stood between the Bemidji Volleyball team and their fourth section title in five years last season. This time around, the Jacks are looking to get back to state for the first time since 2014, but with a much younger squad. The Lumberjacks come into 2016 having lost half their team to graduation. Bemidji does return seven players from last year, but with hardly any varsity experience. We lost seven, seven athletes, um, and they, uh, you know, most of them had a real big role in our offense defense. And so now you just build on, build on who you have. You have to learn your own strengths. Like they definitely had their own strengths and now we have to find our own strengths just like they did. One strength Colligan says the Jacks need to have is their defense, saying she's a firm believer in the old adage, defense wins championships. We're really going to have to work on our defense and work on a defense that's really going to work for us um, and offense as well, but that defense piece has to come first before we can even get the ball into the setter's hands. The team believes they have all the physical traits necessary to succeed. It just comes down to how they approach the game mentally. We don't have the energy of a varsity team yet on the court, and we really need to find that. We have a huge, strong team. Like, we are, I think we're very athletic. They work us hard conditioning. We're in great condition. We just need to put that condition to work and mentally get through it. And even though there may be a few bumps in the road early on. If you're losing along the way right away, that's not always a bad thing because truly we need to be playing our best ball mid to end of October. Come section time, we're going to be at the top of our game and we're going to be ready to go. The expectations haven't changed. Our expectation is no different than any other year. Our expectation is to get to that section championship match and go, go to the big show, go to state. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.